Hi, welcome to another video. In this video, what we want to see is how can we have our own large language model deployment? That is, in case you are fine tuning a foundation model, what to do with the model? Because we are all used to accessing hosted LLM through their API calls, right? But what happens when you have a fine tuned model that you want to run it? That is where AWS or Amazon's Bedrock comes for our rescue. And the beauty of Bedrock is it runs as a serverless service. That is, you don't need to deploy any server. You just make the call with the model that you need. Amazon ensures that you have instant access. This is something similar to AWS Lambda. This is the landing page of Amazon Bedrock. We will see a couple of different ways you can easily get started with Bedrock. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So here is the Amazon Bedrock console. Uh, on the left side, you have this model catalog. If you click on it, you will see a number of models that are readily available to be used. You need to make a request. All these models have an indication called serverless. So wherever you see this serverless, you can call these models without explicitly deploying. So these models are readily available for you to make API calls. That is what we are going to see. So now here, what we are going to do is, we are going to use Mistral model. Okay, so Mistral, this one, Mistral large 2 is there, Mistral large is there. We'll use this, this one. Okay, so let's see how easily we can access. So this small code has got all the parameters needed and this is our message, user message. What is 2 plus 2? And here we are specifying the model uh, mistral.mistral hyphen small 2402 v1.0. Okay, so you just need a Python environment where Boto 3 is installed to run it. So I already have the environment ready. So sh so this is my Python environment to run it. Okay, so 2 plus 2 is 4. So it gives us the reasoning behind this. Okay, and remember, we need to put the AWS access keys, access keys in the .env file. That is what I am importing here. So next what we will do is, we will use Agno library to access bedrock. That makes it this small. So, if you use plain Boto3 library, we had to use these many lines. So, if you use Agno's bedrock module, it shortens this into just two lines. Define the agent. So, this is an agentic application. So, here we define the agent with the model. We are asking it to create a two-sentence horror story. So, let's see how we can run it. Let's copy the file name. And the, the code that I am using is from Agno repo itself. So the link will be provided in the description in case if you want to run it. Okay. So again, here again, .env has the API keys to my AWS account. So this is also using AWS Bedrock. See, it is quite fast. Two sentence horror story and I'm not reading the horror story. Okay. So that is it. So this is the second way. Agno's way and now the third way is we will create a streamlit application so docker compose up we will go over the docker compose yaml file so this is a rag application which uses aws bedrock so it uses a postgres vector database so when you want to access bedrock served as a service you will also need an instance where you run your containerized application front end and the database backend. The LLM calls will go to your bedrock service. Okay, so it's up and ready. So here is the AWS bedrock LLM with a rag. So here we can upload PDF documents. Let me upload our familiar Thai recipe, process the document. So now the document is getting junked and saved in the vector database so that we can do the similarity search. Now here, 
Okay, so Thai curry recipe. Here is checking our local database to get the chunks. So if you look at the log, so this part is about uh, creating the vector database. And here, similarity search is done. It found five documents containing a Thai curry. And if you look at the result, so here is the result. Here we have nicely formatted output. And at the bottom we have the tool calls made. So it called it tool, search knowledge based tool. So this is the demo of how we can use Amazon's bedrock to run serverless LLMs. That is, we don't need to worry about hosting the LLM. Let's go over the code now. So this is the Docker Compose. Top section, we have the vector database. And it is using PG vector Docker image. And the username, password, database names are defined here. That is what we are using in the application. The port address and the volume mapping so that data persists across restarts. And then here we have the health check defined. The advantage of this is the application will wait for these many seconds because in the application side we are asking it to use this health check. Depends on Postgres and service healthy. So that way there is a dependency so that application won't be broken at start. Then here we have the streamlit being started. Streamlit run app.py and the database URL is being passed here. So that is it. Now let's look at the code. The import it uses Agno in addition to streamlit. Here we have the Amazon bedrock you can ignore this plot we are not using in this demo so amazon bedrock library is what is being used this is for the vector database convert the uploaded pdf documents into vector database this section is identical to what we have seen in all our previous videos this is agno's way of creating a vector database using local pdf files so this will create the knowledge base object and knowledge base dot load will load the PDF as embedding. Then the only addition is here where we are defining the Mistral small model and specifying that here. The rest of the lines are identical to all our previous demos. So accessing AWS hosted bedrock serverless LLM is this simple. So that is what I want to highlight this. So please give your valuable comments and see you again in another video like this practical short demonstrations. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.